Are your pigeons better sprinter or distance birds? Can your birds be great at both? Many pigeon keepers are unaware that pigeons have fast and slow twitch muscle fibers, and may determine what type race your pigeons excel at and how they respond to training. It is generally accepted that muscle fiber types can be broken down into two main types of muscle slow twitch, type I, muscle fibers and, fast twitch, type 2, muscle fibers. Fast twitch fibers can be further categorized into type IIA and type IIB fibers. These distinctions seem to influence how muscles respond to training and physical activity, and each fiber type is unique in its ability to contract in a certain way. Muscles contain a genetically determined mixture of both slow and fast fiber types. The slow muscles are more efficient at using oxygen to generate more fuel, known as ADP, for continuous, extended muscle contractions over a long time. They activate more slowly than fast twitch fibers and can go for a long time before they fatigue. Slow twitch fibers are great at helping fly long or hard pigeon races. In the breast muscle of the pigeon, there are only two types of muscle fibers, one slow twitch and fast twitch. Red muscle fibers are often referred to as slow twitch fibers. The fibers contract but at a relatively slow rate, and the fibers require lots of oxygen to do their work. This oxygen is provided by the blood and stored in the myoglobin until needed by the muscles. As a result, red muscles can do slow but steady work, they do not tend to fatigue. Red muscles are excellent for sustained flight. White fibers are often referred to as fast twitch muscles. They are capable of very rapid contraction. However, these contractions occur in the absence of oxygen. After a short period of time, a waste product called lactic acid accumulates, remember the Cori cycle, in the cells, causing the fast twitch muscle fibers to cease contracting. White fibers are therefore capable of a few very powerful, very strong contractions but tire quickly. I feel hard training conditions the muscles to function better, allowing more oxygen in the blood to replace the oxygen that was consumed. The birds must be in good physical condition to handle a long hard races. I am hoping that you beginners are understanding that once the pigeons are in good physical condition you can then bring them back and only have to train short tosses. This along with knowing how the cells function and knowing what minerals and vitamins are needed to make the muscles to their job is going to get you winning.